Hey, it's Beezle, and I'm a gamer. I know, shocking. What gave it away? I've played so many games over the years that honestly, I'm in an existential crisis, guys. Like, what do I play? There's so many games nowadays that I don't even know where to begin. And it doesn't help that games keep coming out all the damn time. If only there was a sign telling me what to do. Welp, I'm sold. Ever since I got the GameCube when I was three, it's been a downward trend. However, thinking back on everything, Soul Calibur 2 was the one that set in stone my taste for gaming. While this isn't my first video game, it was the one that left the biggest impression on me as a kid. Hell, I'm pretty sure my brain is filled with nothing but mushy, actiony goodness because of it. Soul Calibur is a 3D weapon-based fighting game taking place in the late 1600s. Everyone has different weapons and fighting styles and are looking for a blade called the Soul Edge. An evil sword set to bathe in the blood and hatred of its fallen foes. I know, it sounds very edgy. However, it can get even edgier. Give me the next soul! As arcades were going out, console games were becoming a mainstay. For a lot of people, fighting games were the benchmark for what a console could do. Soul Calibur 2 got raving reviews from fans and critics alike, and my dumb kid brain could understand that. This shit is fun! From its Weapon Master mode where you go and hunt for different weapons, to Arcade mode where you unlock content about your favorite characters and learn their story, and my favorite, Weapon Exhibition mode. You select a character and have them demonstrate their moves with one of their weapons. Not only can it be silly, it's really cool to see a character show off their fighting style with a cinematic camera, getting all their best angles. I remember as a kid, just looking at this and being amazed by the choreography and seeing the characters move in ways I could only imagine. Like, god damn, it just looks so beautiful and mesmerizing. While this game has a lot going on for it, one particular thing that blew my mind as a kid was their marketing gimmick. They made it so that each console of that generation would have an exclusive character you could only play on their system. Xbox got Spawn, PlayStation got Heihachi, and GameCube got Link. As you can tell, Nintendo for the win! I mean, why the hell would you not want to play as Link? He's an icon to game that just sticks out so much. Not only that, but it's pretty funny seeing him in a fighting game outside of Smash. Well, this was really cool. I could see some people being annoyed by this. However, to me, it really adds that extra 2000s charm from when the console wars existed. Not only that, it gave you a reason to check out the other releases of the game, essentially making each port more unique. With games like Tekken getting more and more popular every release, it's really bringing back the love of 3D fighting games, and I'm all for it. It's really getting my hopes up for a big return for Soul Calibur. Tekken and Soul Calibur used to be heated rivals where the developers from each game were just trying to one-up each other after every release. However, Soul Calibur has slowly fallen to the wayside over the years. It's a shame. Everyone has a first. For me, my first fighting game was Soul Calibur 2. So it's safe to say I've always had a soft spot for this series. No matter how much time passes, I still think about it often. Every time I pick up this game, I get flooded with countless memories as a kid, not understanding anything at all and just thinking, Oh, this is so cool! So many different character designs, the announcer just going on and on about fate and swords, and how you can push people out of the ring for a knockout! Which is some bullshit when it happens to you, but it's hilarious when it happens to anyone else. <sighs> I love this game. It just has so many different things going for it. To me, Soul Calibur has always seemed like that cool, edgy fighting game all about swords, feet, and exaggerated characters. I feel like we're in a fighting game resurgence. There's been a big push for collections and various fighting game projects to come back. With any luck, Soul Calibur will get the same treatment, and when it does, I'll be right there in the splash zone. I've only played Soul Calibur 2, 4, 5, and 6. There's still a few I haven't played yet, but this gives me a chance to go back and check them out. I just gotta pick up a Dreamcast. Sega! It's always fun going back and checking out older games. Not only that, but they could really teach you a thing or two. All the greatest warriors in all of history go out on a journey to try and claim this mythical sword called the Soul Edge. If I want to be an awesome warrior like these guys, there's only one thing I gotta do. Welcome to the new stage of history. 
Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. A hero desires a sword, and a sword desires truth. The legend will never die. The Almighty Ones have granted you a sword to cut your own path. Entrust your noble soul in your sword. The fighters face a gruesome quest to search for the ultimate sword. Battles risking the soul, a man becomes a slave to his own ambition. His motivation is the thirst for power. No one could foresee the events unfolding before their eyes. Ha 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 